Today we're going to try these Trader Joe's It's Takes Flight, a dark chocolate tasting odyssey. There are seven candy bars in this one box. They were $9.99 and each candy bar is a different flavor and we'll get to that in just a second. It says take an exclusive flavor inspired journey by way of chocolate. 70 percent is it just cocoa 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 cool. dark chocolate bars combined with exotic flavors fragrant spices and unique pairings that will transport your taste buds to lands far and near so what are you laughing about because they're 70 percent dark he's gonna oh. die <laughs> okay <laughs> one bar there are seven bars 310 mm -hmm. calories per bar but we're not gonna sit here and eat a whole bar. Lord we're gonna no. look how big they are. But they're they're big. I'm thinking I don't like dark chocolate necessarily, but these are different flavored I'll dark chocolate. Love so. The pictures. Yeah, you don't have to front. save the wrappings. I will save the wappers. I will take pictures, and it will be at the end of the video. I'll make I sure. I think I should be making money because they put, they put me on the front of this one. Uh, <laughs> he's like talking. Bush baby. He's talking about to be. Uh, Coffee and cocoa. Yeah, it's like a bush baby. It's a bush baby. Uh, a bush baby. Yeah, Tamio had me printing those out and putting them, laminating them or something. Yeah, so these are really cool, those are cool wrappers. So you gotta go through the flavors. Okay. Yeah, the flavors are coffee and cocoa, salt and pepper potato chip. And you also the pictures later. Oh, well, I was gonna show the pictures at the end. Oh. So they, no, you're no, fine. fine. Almond ginger, chili and cinnamon. Coconut caramel, orange hibiscus, yeah, and caramel. black sea salt <laughs> caramel. Black sea salt right. caramel. Can we okay. try like the orange and the okay. coffee oh, ones yeah. first? Right. I like the coffee, but there's these two. Then you got, uh, we'll do these two. These are the ones you want to try first? Okay, we we're going to do the orange. This is just one of those that's kind of with that. So here's, okay, here's, so here's how it looks. We're going to keep the... Keep the package. Well, inside the chocolate, I think that. Yeah. They're not as big as I thought. I thought they were going to be bigger, but they're not. The boxes give it a lot. Yeah. Now, yeah, do is each of them have a different calorie content or everyone? No, they each have their own calorie content. I think they're all 100. Right. 320, aren't they? This is 300. This is 320. Oh. This mm -hmm. one's three. The okay. Well, the three one three. we're trying to the orange hibiscus is 320. Okay. There are six sections. And this one smells like one of those uh, Terry's oranges. Look how, oh, dark, wow, look it how does. dark that is. It smells just like one of those. I don't want the, one of the whole squares. I hope the dark, you take a bite off the I hope the dark chocolate doesn't Break uh, half or throw off the taste. There you take that bigger one. It's just like one of those, except it's a little bitter. I actually like that. I don't remember caring that much for the Terry's. I think that's pretty good. I think it tastes how wood cleaner smells. <laughs> it's very so you warm. don't like it. No, it's very palm olive -y and pass off. You know, after that, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> I, I, I did not mind that. It's not something I would go buy ever. No. But I don't mind it. It's and it does taste like you've had the Terry's orange, you've had that one. Okay, which one's next? Something yeah, different. Up okay. almond ginger. This is almond ginger, and it is 310 calories. I hope I can see pieces of almond. No. You don't think there'll be pieces of almond? Because the last one, I mean, it, had, it was just like straight up dark chocolate. It's like it almond. Like they crystallized ginger. I can see some. Look, yeah, it does say almonds are in. Okay. Eat this square. They're all going to have six squares. This one says bits of crystallized ginger and almonds Ooh. dazzle the palate with a spicy and crunchy kick. There it is. Mm -hmm. It took me a minute to find the ginger. And I like that. You had to pull it out. You don't like it at all? That chocolate's just too bitter for me. It's very bitter. 
It's like eating a Hershey's um, cocoa mix, spoon, a spoonful of Hershey's cocoa. Once again, not something I would get again, but I like that one even more than the orange. It's not bad, it's just too dark for me. What did you think? The mm -hmm. What did you think? Um, I'm not a big ginger fan. The dark chocolate's great. Um, it's not too bitter, it's not too um, sweet. It's I like the 70s. I really do. Um, but you can taste the ginger in that. Yeah, I mean, the, the almond, I had several crunches, but I could not. I didn't them. get any almonds. No, I didn't taste the almond. That's why I chose that square. I could see them. Yeah, and <laughs> the one with all the nuts. Okay, this one is coffee and cocoa nib. nib? What is I'm that? Looking at, I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, 320 calories. Okay. It says cocoa nibs and coffee beans, just three simple ingredients combined to create a flavor powerhouse. No need to mess with expensive machines or wait in long lines to enjoy. Let's see. Damn it, I don't want that crappy piece. I was trying to give you the big one. I'm going to break that one even smaller. I have no clue. What you won't like this. I knew your daddy wouldn't like it immediately because it tastes like coffee. Oh. <laughs> no, why don't you just take a spoonful of Folgers? Coffee <laughs> waker. Mm. You know what? If you like that, that if you like that coffee flavor, you probably really like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have, I have chocolate flavor covered coffee. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they have they have stuff. those at Trader Joe's. That is delicious. That tastes like the Jelly Belly yeah. uh, jelly bean that, that has that cocoa that. Yeah, uh, coffee mocha flavor. You better like coffee. That's good. That's very good. I mean, don't I like would, coffee. Stay away from. I wouldn't eat a lot of it. There's no way that I could ever eat a lot of that. But it is. I could eat two good. squares at a time. Yeah. That's how rich it is. It, yeah. That's pretty rich. It's it, not the chocolate something. actually is a really good feel, really good, um, you know, texture of chocolate. Really. This isn't though. Sit on the couch and turn on a movie. Like or a Snickers something. bar. Yeah. This is more just you know. I'll tell you what, if you like coffee, you like Lady like chocolate. Okay, uh, this is coconut caramel. This is sipping chocolate. Can you imagine getting <laughs> a big, huge cup of coffee and dropping half of one of the squares into it? Uh, just letting it kind of melt into it? I think that would be good. This one says 70% cocoa dark chocolate filled with buttery caramel and exotic coconut. A touch of black sea salt and cocoa nibs well, provides a full those, flavor those experience. Three, they don't have the... Oh, there are. There's only three bars instead of six. And it's 300 calories. Probably because it's filled with caramel. Yeah, it's oh, oh, wow. Okay. I didn't expect that. <laughs> it's, did. it's, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's seeped. No, go ahead. It's, it's seeping. Yeah, I'll just That's a word you want to hear if we eat something. <laughs> oh, here's yours. It's seeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you want to hear. <laughs> It's a flesh wound. <laughs> that one's not bad. Mm -mm. The coconut is very light. Yeah, you can't taste a lot. The caramel's good. Mm -hmm. It's not very sweet though. It's dark chocolate. Is your do you, did you taste salt? No, yeah, I got a little bit yeah. of salt in mine. Mm -hmm. But it's this black, it's black sea salt. I'm getting that black sea salt. I taste a little bit of a salty flavor. It wasn't bad. Do you remember that other black sea salt thing we had from Trader Joe's? And it was, it had that salt on the top. It was these balls and, <laughs> oh, well, I'll, yeah, it was yeah, bad. That these are two that I'm looking forward to. It was individual little balls. Yeah, I don't remember. Okay. Chili and cinnamon. I can't even this imagine. This one's kind of scary, though. This one, this one's right up your rally, Dan. This one makes me think of you. Hey, this is a, a sweet and spicy flavor sensation. The 70% cocoa dark chocolate bar is ready to fiesta. Uh, front, <laughs> front notes of cinnamon with a back end kick from Mexican ancho and how you say Guajillo, 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 whatever, chilies and cayenne pepper. Oh. Hmm. Yes, so we're going to. Burn our throat. I don't want that big a piece. Give me half of this one. Here. Way medium. I don't want here. You could have eaten a small one. Don't worry. Not that strong. I couldn't take anything. No, wait, there's a cinnamon. I don't got anything else. 
Just keep going. Well, the cinnamon there's first. A cinnamon. Yeah, there's, well, a, there's a pepper. I don't taste the pepper. I taste like really strong, beautiful cinnamon. I have cinnamon, no pepper. Yeah, but you swallow. I'm eating the other half. There it's not is, strong, strong. There's a little bit of a, of a heat in the back of your throat. There's a bitter. There's a little bit of a, the cinnamon is so strong. Yeah, that's like eating a spoonful of cinnamon. Yeah, it is so <laughs> strong that it's out you of the jar. Little, what? We could do the cinnamon. No, I'm tablet. not doing that. That makes people <laughs> quite die. <laughs> it makes people die. <laughs> that is true. Um, I just taste a really strong cinnamon dark chocolate. Yeah. That is great. That's actually not too bad. That's, that's that probably one of my favorite ones. One of these little pings, I guess. Uh, in the back of your throat? Yeah. That's the pepper. Is that the pepper? Like, is that out of the ones we've tried so far, that's probably probably because it kills that's the dark chocolate not much. I don't know. I like the coconut caramel. That one kind of knocks the dark chocolate down a little bit. So I All right, guys. Which still one? not. I still wouldn't get any of these. But which one are uh, you gonna do? Uh, let's do the potato chips cool. last. Okay. There we go. Crack it open. This one is black sea salt caramel, mm. and I'm telling you. We did another review on she these the little stuff. chocolates that were individual, mm -hmm. and it was, you took them to work. Uh, uh, a South Pacific adventure beckons with a smoky, intense combination of Hawaiian black sea salt, that was it. creamy caramel, so it's got caramel mm -hmm. inside of it, and a 7% cocoa dark chocolate. Pairs well with a lay Hawaiian shirt and grass skirt. What's that in the It's seafing. It's, this one's <laughs> what, what, what could it be? There's no caramel. Yeah, is there? it's caramel. Um, I feel like I ate it all. <laughs> Accidentally <laughs> shoved the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> it was. I don't want yeah. more salt. Most awesome. I'm gonna yeah. go out on a bridge here and say that one would have been better had it been milk chocolate. Yeah. The sweeter chocolate. I agree. Up. Still great. <laughs> and actually, for me, it kind of dulled down the dark chocolate flavor. Mm, it did. It's so weird. You didn't like that one. It's yeah. weird because we didn't like those chocolates that we had before, but that was actually decent. That wasn't. You didn't like it. I don't like it. So far, I haven't really had one that. Okay, that this was, one has to be good. What'd you use your napkin? I wiped my mouth off. Uh, this one is salt and pepper potato chip. I'm looking forward to this one because it says potato chip. I hope there's a whole potato chip. There. Just be prepared to be disappointed. Do I need to go get the potato chips? Or it says actually? the potato <laughs> chip, the indigenous symbol of American snackery, takes on a foodie twist when salted, peppered, and combined with a 70% cocoa dark chocolate. Right at home with a pair of blue jeans and some rock and roll tunes. This one's three hundred twenty dollars. I love how when people talk about America, they think we're just you know. Hicks. Let, let, rock and roll, blue jeans, blue jeans, potato chips. Here we go. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, kind of the. Um, we're in Kentucky. Do we sound that like that? <laughs> they, um, what was the guy that wrote? You didn't give any. Oh. What was the guy that um, Bruce Springsteen? Who was the blue jeans and. That tastes a little bit of potato chip. A little bit of potato flavor. I don't like that. Is, is that like salt and pepper? Yeah, yeah that's that salt and pepper. That is pepper. Awesome. You can definitely taste the it's salt and pepper. It's too peppery. It's way too peppery. I love pepper. Oh, it's <laughs> a lot of pepper. Drink. <laughs> that's your it's favorite. It's too then. peppery. Yeah. No, I still think I like the, the cinnamon oh. chili. I don't taste any potato chip, but I taste the pepper. Pepper, yeah. It's like pepper. cracked black pepper. And it's actually crunchy. There's so much of it in here. Mm-hmm. It's pepper. Yeah, it's actually crunchy. Mm -hmm. And it's good. I like the picture on the front. It's a friggin' rooster. That's America. Rooster. Give me mm -hmm. a minute, too. I didn't like that at all. There's too much pepper. It's literally like when you fill up your pepper shaker and you... Oh. Get some in your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Want that little piece? No, I'm good. Mm-mm. I didn't like that. Okay. Right. That was an overload of dark chocolate. Favorites? If I had to Lay buy one out. again, Lay them out. Let's look at if I was required to buy one and eat one, I would get the chili and cinnamon. Okay. So that was your favorite. If I had to, I wouldn't actually buy any of them. Again. But if I had was if I had to get one and eat it, I would choose the black sea salt caramel over the salt and pepper one. You'd like to? Yes. 
that's the one I would pick. If I had to buy one again, that's the one I would buy. And I would buy the almond ginger. Really? Yeah. Mm. Well, three different takes on that. Okay, now let me ask you this. I have a boat on mine. Because you're somebody who loves dark chocolate and you appreciate it, do you think seven candy bars for the flavors you get, do you think it's worth $10? Um, this set. This set, do you think it's worth $10? Uh, to the right per to the gifted to the right person, mm -hmm. yes. It, I think so you think this would be a good gift for somebody who likes dark chocolate? Um, would anybody it, ever realize you had spent ten dollars on it? Dark chocolate is expensive, though. Really good dark chocolate. Um, I think that they have to know. I mean, just think of it this way: most candy bars are a dollar. If you'd gift me this, I'd have said like, "Well, I know it was at least seven dollars. I'd assume they paid ten. Right, and probably know. more honestly because if you buy not Ghirardelli or Lent but there's some makers of dark chocolate they are like four, we've seen $4 uh, we've paid $4 a piece for candy bars so um, that's so like I, a submarine with wings mm -hmm. oh it is yeah these <laughs> pictures are very interesting um, it's going to take a, it's going to take even a fanatic a long time to eat through Yes, and I even... Because uh, I'm on overload of dark chocolate right now from eating that much in one sitting. Valerie shared a picture of these on Instagram, and then someone said, on an, I don't know if it was under her picture or somebody else's, that they had just finished theirs, and it had taken them a while to finish them. So um, it is a lot of chocolate. You want to eat it, eat it slowly and enjoy it, definitely. So um, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, thank you very much for watching.